squeeze scrub a dub dub in the tub can you tell I have kids? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking one and done eyeshadows. Eyeshadows that can just be used beautifully on their own. A quick one and done out the door. Perfect if you're in a hurry. Perfect if you just don't want the complications of using ugh, Perfect if you don't want the hassle of putting looks together, putting colours together, using three different shades in the crease and two different shades in the outer V and a lid shade in the corner and you just want to whack one colour, like the good old days, with, you know, a little sponge tip applicator on the lid. That's what we're talking about today. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, if that is right up your street, then keep watching. I'm going to share my favourite one and done shadows with you. So let's start off with the shadow that is on my eyelids today, because this is probably my favourite out of this entire bunch. This is the Armani. It's called Eyes to Kill Stella, and this is the shade O2. Super, super close up for you of my peepers so that you can see it in action. This is just a beautiful shadow. Today I actually put some bronzer through the key. What? Today I actually put some bronzer through the crease, just my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer that I was using on my cheeks as well. Today I just whacked that through the crease and to be honest, that's what I pretty much do whenever I'm doing a one and done. It's never really a one and done in this house. I generally will put something through the crease sometimes bronzer, sometimes not. A few of these work beautifully with nothing. Just literally a pure, legit one and done. But this one for me, I just feel like it needs something because it's quite light and bright. I feel like it needs something. So just some bronzer through the crease and that's good for me, but it's gorgeous. There's a cheeky little swatcheroo for you. I love the texture of this because it's not really a cream. I guess in theory, would it be classed as a cream? I think it's like a gel to powder is how I would describe it. It doesn't perform like a cream, it doesn't feel like a cream, it feels like a very slippy, smooth powder and I just find it beautifully easy to work with. It gives me the pigment and the coverage that I want. It doesn't crease because it doesn't really go on the lid like a cream. So yeah, I love that formula. I'll definitely pick up more. That's a fairly recent discovery for me and I would love some more shades of it because I love that formula. Now some very, very oldies, but still right up there. These are the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pots. I have two that I love. One is discontinued. And of course it's the nicest one, I'm sorry. So first up, this is Indian Wood and this is the discontinued one, which is such a shame because it is stunning. And this is Groundwork, which is still available and kind of matches my nails, you know. Oh, what a happy accident. So here is Indian Wood and you can see why I'm gutted that it's no longer available because it is truly stunning. This I've made, I mean, what a mess. Come on, Charlotte. So here they are both swatched. This is the gorgeous Indian Wood no longer available and this is Groundwork. So these are definitely more like a classic cream shadow. Groundwork I actually use more like to buff all over the lid and up into the crease. And this is a, a pure one and done shadow for me. I kind of, it could be a nice base because it isn't like shi like glittery and shiny and shimmery like Indian Wood is. The Pro Longwear Paint Pots, that's a tongue twister. The Pro Longwear Paint Pots from MAC, they are, they do vary as far as some will be very, very metallic, like the Vintage Selection, that's very, metallic just like this kind of finish and then you have like groundwork that is more of it like a base I'm sure we're all from, we remember the soft ochre days right you remember those days soft ochre and painterly that was where it's at for an eyeshadow base so groundwork very much falls into the eyeshadow base category but because it's kind of that very neutral tanned kind of shade for me it just makes a beautiful like in the crease buff all over the lid and just gives you some dimension to the eye on a low or no makeup makeup kind of day indian wood is just a stunning shimmer it's just gorgeous this is again both of these are absolute pure one and done shadows you don't need anything else they don't crease you don't need much they last forever so old but so good such a great formula these have been reformulated and i do have hopes the reason i'm showing you in Indian word is because I do have hopes it may come back. You just never know with MAC. Next up, one of my Shantakai shadows. This is the shade Burnished Brown and it's the giraffe picture. Mm -hmm. What? Now this is a very shimmery shadow. It's a really gorgeous, rich brown. It's just stunning. This is like a summery 
bronze goddess makeup in one eyeshadow. You can see just the shine and the slip on that shadow. That is definitely a powder, but it is ah oh, such high reflection. It's just stunning. I find that Shantakai shadow just extremely smooth. And if I just want something that, yes, it's shimmery and it's pretty and it gives me a gorgeous bronzy look, but I don't want it to be like sparkle. It's more of a shine because it's so smooth and it's just bronzy goddess. It's perfect for summer. That one is an absolute favorite. Now, a little palette that I love. I've got a couple of palettes to show you that are bursting at the seams with one and done options. The first is Charlotte Tilbury's Star Aura. Any of the shades in this palette will work beautifully. This one in particular, just all over the lid. So you can kind of see it's not a million miles away from the Armani. It's a bit richer than that one, a bit deeper, kind of in the same family as some of these others. You can literally use any of the shades out of this palette quickly on the lid and kind of buff up into the crease and that'll be a stunning, very, very pretty, very, very easy one and done look. I think that's such a clever little palette because you can do as much or as little as you want. Very, very easy to work with. They all blend beautifully together. And like I said, you can use any of those shades on their own or you can use all of them and they will just work together however you want. It's a very easy going palette. You know what I mean? Next up, these little Charlotte Tilbury creams. These are the eyes to mesmerize. And these are like a sort of moussey cream. These are quite light and fluffy and mousse-like in my opinion. My absolute favorite is the new Walk of No Shame. This is just, it's just, mm, I love it. It's my type of shade, very, very pretty. And again, these are absolute classic one and done shadows like you can absolutely buff this all in the crease and all over the lid and under the lower lash line which is what I did today with the Armani and that's all you need they absolutely work completely on their own with no help not even a single moment of help they are just very easy I also find that if you apply them with a bit of patience you know slowly slowly is how I recommend applying these if you want to know my tips on applying these pots from Charlotte Tilbury. I, in my review of the two new shades, the Pillow Talk and that Walk of No Shame, I show you all my tips on how to apply it. So I'll check that one out. But if you do apply it as per my instructions, uh, as per the brand's guidance, then they don't crease and they last all day and they are just gorgeous. Just You just need to go slow, go slow with these. Start with a very little and build up as needed. Use as little as possible, work them into the skin and they will never let you down. I love all of these. So that one that I just swatched there was, it's called Jean because I have the old version and it's been renamed Champagne. And this is that Pillow Talk shade. I think if you have fair skin, this is gonna be stunning on you. On me, it's a little muted, you barely there. But if you have fair skin, I think this will be stunning on you. Absolutely gorgeous. So there we have Walk of No Shame, Jean or Champagne, and Pillow Talk. The formula of these, as far as cream shadows, can't go wrong, can't go wrong. Absolutely love them, I think they're gorgeous. Should I give you a close up of the colors? Why not? treat yourself. So here we have Walk of No Shame on the left, Jean or Champagne in the middle, and this is Pillow Talk on the end there. You can see that Jean, she's had a lot of use, you know, for me anyway, and a cream. Come on, don't be crazy. Another one that for me you could do with some bronzer through the crease when you use this one is my Armani. This is an, another one that's kind of new to my collection. This is called Patine Bronze. There she is nice and close very gorgeous shade. This one feels similar to the Armani, as in it doesn't really feel like a cream, it feels like a smooth powder, but it feels a little drier, this one. It doesn't feel dry, it feels drier than the Armani. There it is, there. I'd say the Chanel, the Patine Bronze, is a little cooler than some of these other sort of bronzes. It's more of a got a sort of silvery tone to the reflection. Oh my God, my hair is just getting like bigger and bigger. It's the humidity. Definitely one that, like I said, it's 
just like the Armani, it needs a bit of bronzer in the crease for me, just because otherwise it's like a bit stark. You could buff it into the crease if you're fairer skin. You may not need to have some dimension or have a bit of join up with the rest of your face and what's going on. But yeah, for me, this and the Armani, I like a bit of bronzer through the crease. Just gives me a bit of definition there. Uh, but it's it's gorgeous very very pretty again a breeze to work with performs just like a powder you don't need to think about it you don't need to worry about creasing you won't get any well you know don't quote me on that don't sue but I don't get any creasing with it at all. It just doesn't perform like a cream. It performs like a powder, but it is just, it has the finish of a cream because it's lovely and shiny, you know? It's confusing, I understand. Next up, this little number from Charlotte Tilbury, this little pillow talk. This is more of a loose pressed pigment. Very pretty, very high shine and sparkle. A bit more of a peachy tone. You can see it next to the pillow talk cream the eyes to mesmerize it's really not what you expect from pillow talk this is like pillow talk to me this is more peachy and lighter than how i think of when i think of pillow the pillow talk shade it it's kind of different to me but it is very shimmery shiny it's one that works beautifully all over the lid and just up into the crease and again you don't really need anything else it's just super pretty it also works gorgeously as a topper because it has that lovely sparkle so that with any of you know your charlotte tilbury or any eyeshadow palette you want to use that patted over the center is going to light up and give you a gorgeous halo effect it's just a very very pretty peachy shimmer very easy to use again because it is that you can just use it with a finger you can use it with a flat brush whatever you want and it's it's going to be fine not a lot of fallout and yeah and don't have to worry about creasing because it is a, a classic powder but yeah very very pretty and nice and light for sort of spring and summer now another palette that i just think is absolutely chocker blocker with one and done shadow options and this is the pillow talk instant eye palette from Charlotte Tilbury. See, Charlotte Tilbury, she does this very well. I've just realized how many Charlotte Tilbury there is in this video. Clearly, this is something that the brand does very well, I feel like, and it does make sense because to me, when I think of Charlotte Tilbury, I think of you but on your best day with a bit of a boost. That's kind of the makeup that they do. It's very easy, it's very light, it's very your skin but better. It's very enhancing natural beauty is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I think these one and done shadows, they really do work in the brand. There's a lot of options. Literally, I would say, maybe covering up these last three, any shadow in here, any of these mattes in the crease and you're good to go. Any single one, take your pick. And the same thing with these two shimmers. You could pack one of these, one of these in the crease, pat one of these on the lid if you fancy it, but you don't, you don't have to. No one's gonna force you. But yeah, this whole palette is just chock full of options as far as one and done shadows, as far as very quick and easy out the door makeup. This is like 12 of them. Take your pick, whatever you fancy. Is it 12? <laughs> yeah, just checking. <laughs> it's gonna be embarrassing. And finally, an absolute classic beast. If you're thinking, those days where you want the perfect one shade in the crease to give you a bit of dimension. You're not really looking for color. You're not really looking for an eyeshadow look. You're looking to look your best and cheat a little bit and just have something that gives you a bit of shape to the eye, a bit of dimension, mimics the appearance of like a shadow there. You want it to meet up like with your bronzer and just really look very, very minimal. My perfect one and done for those instances is, where is she? This one here, Max Soft Brown. I mean, you know about soft brown, don't you? This is like my second, at least my second, and I'm not far off hitting pan. This is like very different, I feel like, from a lot of these shadows because it does a different job. You know, a lot of these are like, you want them on the lid and in the crease. This is like your crease, just my perfect crease shade. And you can see it's very soft and subtle. It is a matte and it's just going to give you, where's my little wipe gone? It's right there, come on. It's just gonna give you a bit of shape. This is again, the perfect shadow that you could use in the crease with any of these cream shadows patted on. I could have absolutely used this. This is um, brown script. So I could have used soft brown, brown script. I can't remember this one, but I don't like it. So I'm not even gonna tell you. <laughs> Helpful. 
but these two just in the crease and then any of these like the Armani on the lid would be stunning gorgeous quick and easy but this soft brown is like the ultimate just something in the crease something to give you a bit of dimension to the eye on those no makeup makeup days that is like it for me that is the shadow I love a golden oldie can you tell so let's have a look at these swatches this is the Armani then we had the MAC Indian wood and the groundwork then we had the Shantakai and the Star Aura the one shade that I swatched out of there the three Charlotte Tilbury creams we have walk of no shame jean or champagne and pillow talk then the chanel single then we've got the pillow talk powder and finally that amazingly iconic soft brown from mac and now a very stripy arm for the rest of the day so that's cool these paint pots are not coming off i mean most of it is not coming off let's be honest so there you have it those are my favorite shadows for one and done occasions when you don't feel the need to use 48 eyeshadows you just want one just the one you know like the olden days the good old days i hope you enjoyed this video i would love to hear your favorite one and done shadows in the comment section down below so we can see more of these good good options for when we're in a rush or we're just feeling a bit lazy but i hope you found this helpful and i'd love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.